the first voice that you are likely to hear as a child of God is the voice of the devil. Listen, I know that you are born again, you have given your life to Christ, but it doesn't exempt you from hearing from the enemy. The enemy is very interested in speaking to you, like Jesus and Peter. How he used the voice of Peter to speak to Jesus. The enemy is interested in confusing you and stopping your assignment. Therefore, the only way to do that is to speak to you, is to use his voice and talk to you to make sure that you are off your track. And so the first word that everybody must be wary of is the voice of the devil. Jesus was fasting and the devil came to him at the zenith of the fasting and began to speak to him. So everyone that is listening to me, if you are not careful, you can hear a voice and think that it is the voice of God or the voice of someone that is good. But if you are not careful, you might be listening to the voice of the enemy. And my prayer for you is that at the point where you have to make a decision, may you not hear the voice of the enemy. At most or at best, even if you hear the voice of the enemy, may you be able to discern like Jesus and speak to that voice and say, get behind me. Any voice that is speaking to you that is not of God, we declare for that voice to be mute in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that, and when supper had ended, the devil, Satan, entered Judas. It did not mind that Judas was a disciple. In fact, it did not even matter that Judas was a leader. The enemy entered into him and began to do all manner of things. Listen, the fact that you are a church leader does not exempt you from being, you know, be, being in tune with a voice that is strange to God. There are many leaders who are hearing voices that are not of God, but they are not able to discern that this is not the voice of God. There are so many people, some of you, maybe you are listening to me now, maybe you listen to it later. At one point in time, you have heard a voice tell you, go and do this. And after years, you realize that this voice, this voice is not of God. It's not of God. So the first voice that you must know that you can hear is the voice of the enemy and tonight even as we are teaching i pray and i want you to pray this prayer that father may i not pick the voice of the enemy 